You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, new treatment options for people that are suffering with diabetes. With us we have Dr. Julian Whitaker. Dr. Whitaker, welcome hey, to the program. Nice being here, Randy. Now, uh, now, I've wanted you on the show for about nine years. I tell people that, so I'm very <laughs> excited to have you on the show. Well known all over the world. And, uh, you know, before we get into the diabetes, uh, mm -hmm. your book, by the way, Reversing Diabetes, it is right. reversible. Exactly. In your opinion, naturally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without drugs. Absolutely. Uh, tell us about your center, Whitaker Wellness Center. People, I mean, it's a big place. Okay. Yeah, Whitaker Wellness Center, we have a diet regimen there that everybody undergoes. Patients come and stay for one, two, or three weeks. We have right? seen 50,000 patients, probably about half of them, about 25 thousand patients have had diabetes. Now, uh, so we have heart disease, diabetic patients, we have uh, hypertensive patients, and they undergo our diet regimen, and they undergo the therapies that we have, ECP, acupuncture, uh, chelation therapy, hyperbaric oxygen. We have a special wound treatment for patients with diabetic wounds. So we are very comprehensive in these natural therapies. Now today we're talking about type 2 diabetes Correct. specifically. Mm -hmm. And that's reversible you say? Absolutely. That's a lifestyle problem. It has to do with obesity. It has to do with lack of exercise. The heavier you get, the more diabetes you're going to have. It's not an insulin problem. In fact, as you get heavier and heavier, you produce more and more insulin. The problem is the insulin doesn't work. Okay. And in order to get the insulin sensitive again or the insulin working again, you have to do the diet, you have to do exercise, you have to get engaged in weight loss, you have to take some specific targeted nutritional supplements. All of these things put together can cause a reversal of that very common form of diabetes. So what are the common treatment options? So, okay, somebody diagnosed with diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and by the way, what what defines a diabetic? What are the current treatment options? What are the current medications? And uh, you say that you can get them off most of their medications, if not oh, all yes. of their medications. Uh, the current treatment options for this kind of diabetes are, diabetes are primarily the oral drugs, like a glucophage and gliburide and Avandia. Uh, and but they so, work, don't they? No, they don't. They do these not. These are billion work. dollar drugs. No, or half uh, a billion oh, no they drugs? don't work. They actually make the problem worse. You see, when you're treating a diabetic patient, you're not so worried about his blood sugar level. You're worried about the complications because the type 2 diabetic, unlike the type 1, the type 2 diabetic is not going to die because his blood sugar level goes too high. He's going to die and have a heart attack because this form of diabetes brings on complications. So you want to reduce the complication level. So what are those drugs designed to do, by the way, for the they type 2 diabetes? They lower the blood sugar. But you know what, I, what else they do, Randy? They increase the complication rate. Like? Heart attack, heart death. Now the kind of diabetic patients you see, by the way, these are people that are about to lose limbs. Yeah, we had a patient from Van Eyes, a, a school teacher. And he was in the hospital, he was obese, but he had a diabetes and an ulcer on his leg and he was receiving intravenous antibiotics for the ulcer on his leg. Which, by the way, Randy, just don't work. They don't work. And it didn't work in him and so they had scheduled him for an amputation. Okay. Diabetes number one cause of amputation in the country. Uh, he got my book, Reversing Diabetes, and called me up around 11 o'clock the day he was supposed to have an amputation. Wanted to know if I could help him. I said, well, if we can help you, you better come on down now. Welcome back to Randy Alvarez in just a second. We're with Dr. Julian Whitaker here at the Whitaker Wellness Center. It's nice to be here. Tell us about this room. This is the IV room. This is where we give treatments with vitamins and minerals and even chelation to instill health and to prevent and treat these complications of diabetes. You see, Brian, the problem with diabetes is the complications. And this is, where, this is one of the most important rooms for treating those complications. And it's important that people get treatment right away. Th these complications won't stop. No. If you don't get treatment for the complications, they will eat you alive. So this is why we encourage people to come here as soon as you have diabetes so that we can address those complications. Let's uh, have a call to action now. Call the number here at the bottom of your screen. We'll tell you a little bit more about this. Now back to the interview that you did so well with Randy Alvarez. Scheduled for an amputation at yeah. 3 p.m., okay. Yeah, and so he checks out of the hospital, comes down, I see him. How does he hear about you, by the way? I'm sorry to He got in. the book, Reversing Diabetes. Okay, your book, okay. Yeah, somebody had given him the book, and he's reading about how we treat that, and, and we had a therapy for uh, 
ulcers on diabetic legs by using sugar. It's ironic, but it's very powerful. Been around for thousands of years, actually, is to put sugar on indolent wounds, you know, like on open wounds, not on closed okay. wounds, but on open wounds. Because the sugar causes an osmotic environment that kills all the bacteria and actually draws fluid out of the room and stimulates healing. We use that, we use chelation, healed his wound up in about three weeks, did not have the amputation, went on to continue teaching school and, and coaching softball, which is what he loved, and had a wonderful life after that. Now, can you document these cases, submit these to <laughs> I told him, the insurance company would not pay for the chelation and the medical therapy we gave him. I told him, go ahead and sue him in small claims. That's how, how, how small the bill was. It's an incredible story. And stamp your foot on the leg as proof that uh, that it worked. And you know, that, But of course, he didn't want to do it. Patients don't want to get involved in those kinds of hassles. So you can't be too far gone to be a qualified for your program? Oh, no. I had a very heavy black uh, preacher, very prominent uh, Los Angeles preacher. He weighed something like 360 pounds when I saw him in the early 90s. Again, diabetes, also on his leg. It has now been close to 20 years. He's lost about 100 pounds. We healed up his ulcer. In the meantime, his brother blew up with obesity and diabetes, amputation, and is now dead. Wow. And he's still chugging right along, uh, doing his so thing. So can you cure? Can you cure diabetes? Are you allowed to say cure diabetes? Well, uh, but, but you reverse. The, particularly the type two uh, diabetes is not a disease; it's a condition. So it can be fixed. Yes, it can. So anybody be fixed. watching this, it's a condition. Let, let okay. me let me uh, define what a condition is. Okay, if you're pregnant, you're pregnant. You don't, you're not almost pregnant, you're not a little bit pregnant, you're pregnant, right? Right. Well, when you have type 2 diabetes, you have a condition. And that condition is you have fluctuating sugars that are going up. You know what the biggest mistake conventional doctors make with type 2 diabetes? What's that? They put them on insulin. When they put on insulin, really? they gain weight. Here's an, one of my patients. He was started on insulin in the early 70s because the pills did not bring the blood sugar level down to, quote, normal. Okay? He was started on 10 units of insulin. Insulin gains weight. When you gain weight, when you gain weight gl blood glucose goes up. Doctor puts more insulin. He went up 10 pounds and 10 units of insulin for 10 years. He gained 100 pounds on insulin. And when I saw him, he was taking 100 units of insulin. So he's sitting in front of me like you are, and I says, Jim, we're stopping your insulin today. He almost freaks. We'll go back to Randy in just a second. We're with, again, Dr. Julian Whitaker. And um, let's talk about IVs and how important it is. Okay, well, IVs give us the ability to get large doses of vitamin C, B12 into the system in a way that you cannot do it orally. And it's when you're treating people and you're trying to help them overcome these side effects, you need the big guns of giving nutrition intravenously. And that's what we do here. And, and the ambassadors, too. Let's mention that. Yeah, we, well, if pa patients call our clinic, we will give them names of people who have the same kind of condition, and they can tell them what their experience has been. And it, the, the, it's really encouraging what our ambassadors have gone through by coming here to Whitaker Wellness. And you can talk to one of the ambassadors really easy. Just call the number here at the bottom of your screen and you'll learn a little bit more about this. Now back to the interview with Randy Alvarez.